And check my crafting real quick because I feel like I should get rid of some of this crap and see if I get enough stuff to make ah, let's recycle that in that. I should get enough stuff to to make more of this stuff. All of my cures I really feel are necessary. Treatment for hit use to cure sick to you speak no. Do I have a, do a thing for a headache? I don't. So, I got two of them, but I don't know how to make it. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's make another bronchitis one. And let's make a sepsis one. I mean, I got enough stuff. It's better to have two than to have one. Uh, I need more potassium per whatever. <laughs> so that's a... That's a word that I'm not gonna try. Do I have enough to upgrade my sword yet? I do. Well, that's good. So, what are we at damage-wise on it? 96, huh, okay. Decrease stamina consumption or absorb blood points when the weapon hits. That goes to five, it's at two and a half. So essentially I'm doubling the amount of blood I get, which isn't that much. Um, what are these? So, increased damage, increased damage. I kind of feel like, uh, stamina consumption is nice as a reduction. Stamina is always going to be an issue. And I'm getting more blood anyways. Mm, I'm thinking stamina consumption. Because 10% less stamina consumption is rather good, actually. It's rather, rather good. Should I even upgrade this thing? Because I don't... I, it's like the only one that I'm using. Um, maybe I should. I've got enough parts. Let's just do it. Let's just upgrade it for now until I find something new. Three stun points when the weapon hits. That's pretty good. Decrease stamina consumption. Sure. Okay, so. Uh, now let's go talk to Dr. Swansea which I believe is just in his office. He may not be though. You never really know around here. Do I see anyone new? Oh, she's got the cold. Oh, it's Pippa. Wait, did I ever heal her before? I don't think I did. Let's go heal her real quick before I forget. Pippa, Pippa, you got the cold, girl. Okay, I need to talk to you. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Uh, let's give you the treatment. Do you need cold. medical help yourself? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Yeah, here, here you go. Not under my watch, nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Cool. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Here's, here's the true question. If I go to uh, the people here, so she is now recovering. I still got to find this dude, and I do have a treatment for a headache, so I could get him. I just need to find out where the heck he is. Um, actually, speaking of which, he has something that I've done. Oh, claustrophobic. Okay. So we got to also do all of these people still. So what are we looking at? Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. Uh, do I have the treatment for neuralgia? I don't know. Migraine? I do. Cold. We got three fatigues right then and there. So that's kind of big. Um, I got to take care of that, that area. We're just going to look around real quick before I go talk to him. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anybody that has the cold or headache or whatever the heck it was. doesn't matter. I don't, I don't see them. It's just a little unfortunate. Let's go in here. Is that me? Protect us. Kind of looks like it. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the guard. Leave him, Jonathan. 
This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> but you want to come for me while I'm outside? Go ahead and try. By the sacred stone, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What's bad news? I'm going to loot your office because I just saw shinies. Letter of Rakesh Chadnath. Uh, dear Dr. Swansea, I will be glad to manage the temporary morgue as soon as it's opened. As I have already told you, I was a doctor during the war and I'll be glad to serve my country again. I know it's not the same being a physician for the dead as it is for the living, but I believe it is important to welcome and take good care of our departed too. Rest assured, I will do my best to fully perform this new duty to the best of my ability. Concerning the question of my qualifications... I'm sorry, I can't give you anything more valuable than, excuse me, my parole. I swear to you that my regiment made me a doctor during the war and that I saved many lives. If my word is not enough, you can contact the military administration to verify my experience and skills. They will confirm that even if I never followed any medical studies, the war taught me what a doctor really needs to know. New hint available. Good. Uh, yeah, the interesting thing is, the, the interesting thing is that you have all of these people who have different hints and secrets about them, and one of the only ways to find out about them is by collecting stuff like this. So in a game, in an RPG, where I'm doing a series for, where I would normally skip over a ton of stuff, you know, you look at Dragon Age or Mass Effect, where it's like codex entries, and I'm like, I don't need to know any of this. Let's move on. I normally skip over the reading of that. It, it's it's that in this case, this game gives it to you, and there's a <clears throat> there's a gameplay reason to actually read through it because you're actually gaining hints. And I find that um, kind of a cool idea. We'll see how it pans out by the end of the game. Rare species of vampires. As a scholar and uh, ex, ex, exit of ancestral writings. I would never insist enough about the importance of taking legends and ancient folklores into account when searching for hints about hidden or lost secrets. A common mistake is to take what we know for an established truth and use it to discard any contradictory material. For example, we must consider the possibility of undiscovered species of vampires and the necessity to rethink what we see as the established truth about the various types of immortals based on what we know and what we gathered through time. For how many centuries did we consider that vampire was the vernacular term for what we had learned to call Ekin? Until the, until the day four explorers of the Brotherhood found proof in Siberia that Volkods were Lupin type of vampire, we considered these creatures to be linked to the mythological werewolf. Now, which we've fought, by the way, now we know it's not true. What about the rest? What about the Rakasha from my homeland? What about the Chinese Jingqi or the Puchin of the southern Chile? It's kind of cool. And without even leaving the beautiful Great Britain, what about the stories uh, beshaped women's about beshaped women sometimes seeing flying around St. James Church in Luth. What about the creature only identified as a disaster in some obscure testimonies, which tried to destroy London in 1666 by spreading plague all around the city? What about the Nimrod, the mythical figure of the restless vampire hunter, sometimes described by ancestral British Ekans as a legendary huntsman who only feeds on the prey praise blood, and can go unnoticed amongst the mortals and immortals. I tell you, my brothers, we never can be too sure of what we could find if only we could forget for a few minutes what we're supposed to already know. Cool. I like those. I really like those little, little tidbits of information. Here's a final one. Warning letter. letter. Dear Dr. Swansea, I must inform you of my dearest reservations, or deepest res reservations concerning the Dr. Thoreau Strickland and Harvey Fickland case. Mr. Fick Fiddick, or Fiddick, yeah, Mr. Fiddick 
has been hospitalized after severe work injury. He may permanently lose the use of his arm if not treated adequately. Dr. Strickland claims that a surgical procedure may save the man's arm completely. I say it may also sever its, uh, its functions for good if complications arise. Our young colleague is a, an audacious and daring surgeon who might prove a great professional in a few years, but for now he lacks the skills to perform such a risky procedure. Need I remind you of the mistakes he made in the past? Since Dr. Strickland refuses to listen to me, I strongly advise you to forbid him to perform such a hazardous experiment. Okay, now we can talk to him. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Uh... And we'll notice a few more bodies, the inferior reputation. Confidence must be restored. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Uh, I'm your only hope again. I'll help you. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So um, Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Uh, they were not attacked. I'll protect you all. They are not far wrong. Well, that's true. Do you really believe they would come for us here? In such a public venue? McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Curious. The sad saint of the East End mission update. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. So that's interesting because I'm pretty sure I had an option. Um, so I'm pretty sure I had an option to kill him. And if I did, I would be able to prevent this maybe? Would it give me the option to do that? Is that something I could have prevented just by by feeding on him. Gosh, that is so curious. So, does that, because this all goes back into the idea of am I judge, jury, and executioner or not? I don't know. Am I one to say that that is what I need to do is, you know, pick the people who are, uh, the models in the background are bugging out when they get too far away. Um, am I, am I s supposed to be kind of going through and picking out who's going to cause a problem and who isn't and then going that way? I don't know, but it is rather curious. And who's who's not to say that by doing that, by going through and, um, what on earth happened here? Yeah, she is super dead. Uh, who's who's not to say that by doing that, by like going and executing the guy, that I don't bring even worse stuff upon the hospital? So it's like, ugh. it's this is it's well written. It really is well written. Um, and I'm quite enjoying it. Hey, Lady Ashbury. Oh, Jonathan, I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman, butchered by some savage scowl. Um. Can I, uh, well, can we share this meal? Ugh. Everything dies. I'm personally responsible. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scowl, I brought him here. Jonathan. How could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death the 
that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Well, are you? Uh, have you killed this woman? No, I'm not going to ask that. Difficulty with holy symbols. I do want to ask about that. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Okay. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Hmm. Is this a sign? A hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was huge. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. Okay, and what is Ascalon? What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Okay. I gotta ask this question. Have you embraced this woman like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. Uh... Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. I mean, you look better than me. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Okay. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Interesting. So, I don't think there's any investigation that I can do there. Um, I do kind of want to look around at some of these guys. Maybe I can... Oh, there's... There's, there's Mr. Thatcher. <laughs> Mr. Headache Man. Hey, I'm not seeing anybody else. Or any loot, for that matter. And I probably should... Ooh, someone else is down there. Who are they? I also probably should warn them to, like, get off the docks. Seems like a bad idea. Be down here at night with a... With a crazed man on the loose. Let's run over here. And cut his dude's headache first. Ooh, they're having a secret meeting. 